a new set of two times squeeze anamorphic lenses. This is a Synity Gear News video supported by B&H and CVP. Hi, I'm Johnny from Synity and I'm here with Susan from DZO Film. Susan, how are you? Very good. Hi, Jonathan. It's nice to see you. Last time that we met was during IBC in yes. September. Time flies. Mm -hmm. We are all getting younger now when the time is flying. <laughs> Why so? And uh, after, after IBC, we have some new stuff uh, coming out. And at this time, we also bring, it, bring them to the show. Very nice. And actually, we are here because you just announced a new set of two times squeeze anamorphic lenses, mm -hmm. the Pavo, the Pavo family. Yes. So first of all, let's start, because there's quite a lot to talk about those lenses. I want to start with knowing how many lenses will you have in this uh, in, in, in the family? Mm -hmm. uh, firstly, in this year, we plan to have six focal lenses. Uh, start from 28 millimeter and then 32, 40, 55, 75 and 100 this year. But probably we will have two more longer ones next year. So uh, for this family, we at least have six. Because your speciality is doing normal spherical lenses. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide to do anamorphic suddenly? Uh, because we also received some demand for uh, anamorphic lenses from uh, not only Chinese users, but users from global global globally and that's why we decided to make anamorphic lenses and a two times so you really decided to go you, you literally skipped on the one three one five one six one eight why why two squeeze anamorphic we still think that super 35 uh, has a market especially for the anamorphic a lot of uh, super 35 anamorphic on the market and that's why we want to make an, uh, Super 35 two times anamorphic. Some people will think two times is the real anamorphic because they always uh, get used to two times. And because of the tr uh, trend and the change for the CMOS, there are more 1.5 times, 1.6 times, and 1.8 times of full frame anamorphic. But for Super 35, uh, two times is a is a needed. When we first reported about those lenses, many of our audience were really wondering where do you place the anamorphic optic design? Is it a rear anamorphic or front one? Uh, for our anamorphic, the cylinder lenses is in the middle, just right behind the focusing group. Mm -hmm. So in fact, it's in the middle. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's let's talk a little bit about flares. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna offer those in different flare types? Uh, in fact, we have this kind of plan. Uh, we will have two versions of flares. Uh, the first one is blue. The second one will be gold or neutral. We did not decide which one to uh, make, but current probably will be. We hear more voices for the neutral because they can change the fairing based according to the light. That's right. Count me also in with natural because you can you can play with this a bit later or not everybody's doing sci-fi all the time and of course you have the blue and natural I think is very nice. And depending on the flare types, will you also have different coating from the outside? Uh, yes, because this is just a um, sample and for the mass production for the uh, shell, we will clarify from the appearance, like the silver for the blue coating. The silver is for the blue coating. And okay. then the gold will be the neutral. Yeah, we will have a different color for the shell. Yes. Okay. When it comes to lens mount, what mounts will be available? There will be a PL mount lens, but with interchangeable EF mount together in the case. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the front diameter, the, the lens, the filter diameter? It's 95 millimeter front. Mm -hmm. And are you building the lens like that, that only matte box will fit, or you will, will you will be able actually to put an actual filter in the front? 
Um, you can use the field uh, mat box to put on the put on the filters. Only mat box, or you will have a filter thread in the front also? Um, they have filter frame for other focal lens, but for twenty eight meter, probably it's too thin for it to screw on filters. But for others, they will be fine to screw to have screw on filters. When it comes to the focusing uh, focus scales, is it going to be metric or uh, uh, what what versions are you going to sell? Uh, we will provide two versions, metric and imperial. So you can choose what kind of metric, uh, what kind of scales you would like. Mm -hmm. When it comes to pricing and availability, can you share with me a little bit about the pricing? Um, for the price, it's not finally defined yet, but for the availabil availability. Mm, we will have the full set uh, sample in June or July, and then probably we will have more updates that time. Mm. Nice. Susan, did I forget anything? Do you want to add anything about those lenses? It's Now that's the right time. Um, for this set of lenses, uh, the feature is that it's very light and small. They can uh, do a lot of uh, gimbal work and also some robots. Uh, I think it will be your run and gun anamorphic. Wow, run and gun anamorphic. Mm -hmm. One second, let me try. Mobile fitness for sure, I'm joking. No, they're, they're <laughs> relatively lightweight because of course there are other manufacturers who are making two times squeeze anamorphic which are a bit heavier. Yeah, I have to say this is actually feels quite good. Susan, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Guys, thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.